I was born in Offaly, yeah, in Tullamore. My dad was, was a tribe, there was, there was a singing and dancing house on the farm. It was a farmhouse, but there was a lot of music in them when we were very small. And that kind of stopped, I suppose, in the 70s. But, you know, and then next thing, uh, top of the pop seemed to come around the corner, but we weren't into that. We liked, my older brothers had brought rock into the house. So that's the kind of music we started playing mm. as well. And when I came here, it was, I think, the, you become more nationalistic when you're away from home. So you go to the Swan, you go to the Archway, and you're listening to old Dingle Spike and bands like that. My mates, we were squatting in Camden Town all that. I mean, these were the best days of your lives, really, because it was pretty free and easy. We weren't up to any development, really. It was just work, fish and chips, rock bands and squatting. The pose would come true and, you know, and rum sodomy me in the lash and that, and red roses. So, yeah, I liked that. But to me, it was still boring, because I was venturing on into the heavier stuff. Um, but loving Irish music live and starting to buy a lot of Irish music here. And I could sing. My, and this, I didn't, at the time, I, I wasn't really thinking about it. I just loved the music and loved the singing, you know. And um, how we ended up, we, I ended up playing jamming with a couple of lads from Carlo and we kind of had a rock, started off kind of a rock folk, but ended up just being folk songs. Changed over because I think with the Jackie Charlton years and all that, when that started, in the late 80s and that, 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 that really changed a lot and uh, people were getting together more for those matches and, and it was all cool, all the, that folk sort of thing was, became really cool. Well, what happened was I was in the band then, but with, with the whole thing in South London, we became, became more folk and then we were getting gigs. But see, these English guys, they'd all seen me and they were like, there he is, that's the singer, get him, get him. But I wasn't really minded, you know, it's just, you know, I wasn't thinking about it. You know, like the 80s here was brilliant. Like you had friends, had family living in North London, you would meet up. You'd either go, they'd either come to South London and see you in the Swan, or you'd go up to the Archer and meet them. I think in the 90s that kind of died out a bit. And then, of course, when Ireland hit the boom again, people were actually leaving here, and a lot of the Irish I knew went back. But I stayed here, and uh, we'd done an album in 2005, and it was kind of like a demo album, but it was great and we could have done a lot more with it but um yeah and i've always we'd always come to functions here or I'd come here with like my parents-in-law and all that at the time you know there'd be something on you'd come here if there was any of the bands on this is where you come to see them too you know and we ended up coming in here and playing in these places too you know down the years so yeah i, I have great respect for it in a neat little town they call Belfast The apprentice trade I found Have the nannies and our sweet happiness If I spent the night in that little town The sad misfortune came over me All sweet stray from the land Far away from my friends and relations Betrayed by the Blackford band Tied up with a black felt band I took a stroll with this pretty fair maid The gentleman passing us by Well I knew she meant to doing him By the look in her roguish black eye She was the fair and handsome Her neck it was just like a swan And her hair is hung over her shoulder Tied up with a Shoulder tied up with a black velvet band.